Welcome to our channel. I'm so glad you visited today. If you are new to our channel, I want to give you a big welcome and my name is Teresa. Today's video, I'm going to bring you all along as I transform this wooden rocking horse. I picked this up this past weekend at a yard sale for $10. So y'all sit back, hope y'all enjoy the video and hope you get lots of inspiration. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join in at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. Also, go over and follow me on Instagram. So here's the rocking horse before I started to work on it. It's solid wood. It's very well made and you can tell it's actually it's handmade. So I went out and did some research on it and a lot of these are made by the Amish. So you can tell there's a lot of craftsmanship that goes into these. The price range for these range anywhere from $250 up to $450. And the $450 ones were painted white. So I'm going to chalk paint mine linen white. And I'm also going to show y'all, you know, a few distressing techniques I used on this. And I did not use any sandpaper. And as a lot of y'all know, that have watched my videos in the past. Uh, if you put candle wax on the base of your of your item that you're um, chalk painting and then apply your chalk paint you can use a plastic scraper and it will remove the paint to make it look more like a chippy look versus you know when you sand with the sandpaper you're going to get down and sometimes you can even get down and rub um, and scrub the wood in this case you don't so you can see how the paint comes off it just kind of lifts and you want to do the plastic scraper when your paint gets dry to the touch you don't want to let your paint cure too long so um, after I do the plastic scraper and get as much distressing with it that I could, then I'm going to get some duct tape. And if you get duct tape and just put duct tape down in the areas you want to distress, and you want to make sure it adheres to your wood really well. So there I was using the plastic scraper. And then you just really want to pull it off pretty quick. It's kind of like a band-aid. Just rip it off. And you can see how good it looks. And it gives you, like I say, that more chippy look so just to be time efficient i just went through and just kind of threw some duct tape on it and then now i'm just going to start pulling off the pieces and i'll give y'all an overall of what it all looks like okay here's what she looks like now that i've got her distressed and after I did the plastic scraper and the duct tape, I also went over her with a damp cloth. You can also get a little bit more distressing with a damp cloth. So now all she needs is she needs some embellishments and we're going to bring her to life. Because I think she's going to be a lot of fun to decorate for Christmas. So the first thing I wanted to do was add her a really pretty tail. So I just got a boatload of ribbon and yarn and lace and I just, you know, ripped them in, in strips. And I've always told y'all, you know, bed sheets make great fabric for crafts and it rips really good. So if you have old bed sheets or you see some on clearance, pick those up because you can get a lot of fabric out of them. And then I just tied them kind of in a bundle with some twine at the top and then I just used some hot glue and I attached it. Now, to make her mane, I decided to go with um, a looped garland, and I just looped various strips of fabric onto a piece of twine, and the pink, you see, that is some um, yarn that I purchased at Walmart, but here I'm going to show you how I looped all the strips onto the twine. So now I'm going to place it down over her head and also down her neck. I wanted her to have something that was kind of lavish that went all the way over her head down her neck. So, because I know um, if you remember in the original picture of the horse, she just got a little bit of brown yarn up there on the top. So I wanted something that went all the way down the back of her neck. So I'm going to dab on a little bit of hot glue here and there just to hold it on. And then I'm going to fluff it out and fix it. And you'll see coming up of what it ends up looking like. And I, I, I don't know. I thought it turned out really good. And I didn't know exactly how I wanted to go with the mane. I had several different options in mind. But I think this, I, I was happy with the way this turned out. So 
So now I'm going to add her eyes. And I used some bling that I had from Totally Dazzled. And this was a couple of the options that I had. So I'm going to just use some hot glue. And I'm going to um, add her some bling for her eyes. And I'm going to leave a link to Totally Dazzled down in my description box. So if y'all need some bling for your projects, just click on that link. And it'll take you straight to their website. So now I go out to Graphics Fairy and I printed out a free printable. I soaked it in some leftover coffee I had from, from the morning. And I just uh, ripped it while it was wet in the coffee. Just ripped it around the edges to give it that worn look. And then I'm going to apply it using my Gorilla Spray Adhesive. Now I'm just going to let y'all sit back, listen to some relaxing music, and see some different ways that you can use this rocking horse around the holidays or any time of the year. I'm just going to give you some decorating inspiration. And also I wanted to tell y'all, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And also if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we'd love for you to join our YouTube family. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd love for you to. And also, if you know someone that would enjoy this video, please share it with your friends and family. And until the next video, I hope y'all have a great week, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching, y'all.